this is about the microphone and this one is the one that we talk about in class that it says a magnet and there's a south and the north the south and the north track each other so this one has a negative and a positive charge there is a loop of coil which is this one and it's a magnet there that must be coil and there's a light bulb on the top so when this magnet moves through the coil the light bulb will light up and when the and when it stops there and it's not moving when the source is not moving the light bulb would not light up only when the source is moving the light bulb will light up also if you move the coil it will also do the same thing the light bulb will light up as well when two of this just sit still it would not light up because the magnet or the source need to be moving in order for it to vibrate to make sounds even when it's in the loop it will still not make any light because it's not moving magnet respond to sounds and it has a positive and negative charge which is a south and the north and the coil attract magnet that's what what it's causing sound for in this case it's causing the light bulb to light up the closer the magnet is to the coil the more effect it will have and we can also move the coil so it's a coil instead of the magnet or move the magnet to the coil and that would be the same thing these are some examples of the microphone and from the one that we talk about in class are dynamic and condenser for dynamic sound move the coil so sound comes through here moving the coil and it moving the cone that's the cone and then it's attract the coil that that's the coil and then it move into the field of magnetic form which is its travel and then that makes sound and how sound happen it starts with a pressure with vibration that move through the cone in loudspeaker the inverse happen the electric current associated with the electrical magnet of the sound is divide through the coil in magnetic field generating a sort of force on that coil so coil move in response to audio signal moving the cones and producing sound in the air and this one is the condenser one so in condenser how sound travel let's see Sound pressure change. So condenser. Sound travel here. Okay, this one's the condenser microphone. So I think so the sound will travel in here. And then this one is the diaphragm when sound Travel and diaphragm is attached to a coil so that when sound move and it hit the diaphragm it will vibrate and it cause the coil to move if coil is close to the permanent so this is the permanent magnet so if the coil is close to it this cause vibrations and, the, and then that will cause the current flow in the coil to move and the sound will signal out we also make a speaker in lab so for for it to have a good sound we need lesser coil but with a lot of lapping so then when it's have a lot of overlapping but it's lesser that would make a better sound and when the magnet it's 
more closest to the coil that's also signal the sounds when they're far away or when they're not touching the sound is not making any any sound so in the condenser microphone the air vibrations happen forces the top part of the two charged plates to isolate and like before there is always a positive charge and a negative charge and the positive charge and negative charge are attracted to each other we can measure a voltage between these two which is the unhappiness of the charge they don't like where they are because they hate where they are because like charge level they like being close to the other plate because opposite charge attract so when the top plate oscillates it get closer to the voltage it get closer and farther from the other plate like how we're talking about one plate here and then one plate here there are some positive charge some negative charge they want to be closer to each other so when you bring the permanent magnet and coil together the coil attract and sometimes it rebel and that causes the thing to oscillate which create sound so the sound go in fly back through here and then send the signal and the signal come up